Campbell. I'm Marty Campbell. You are here, Scotty. No, I'm not. <laughs> there will be a raffle uh, for special prizes, including a gift certificate to Indochine Restaurant. Yeah. A couple of t-shirts from Paws Play Doggy Daycare. Yeah. Uh, and a framed copy of the Weekly Volcano. Uh, from Art Co. Framing and Gallery, a $100 gift certificate to Art House Cafe, and a couple of massage we gift certificates. Oh, that's and great. more. Okay. Our first place is Craftopia. <laughs> Woo! Yes, are you a fan of Craftopia? All right. Cora, I saw a picture of her with all her crafts around her. She looks like a lovely person. She has a passion for crafts and for animals. Over the years, she has realized what an expensive hobby crafting can be and wants to make sure that everyone has a chance to experience different crafts and find something exciting for them without breaking the bank. That is the essence of why she founded Craftopia, to make sure everyone who wants to explore their creative side has the opportunity to do so. Tonight, we'll be, we will be participating in a hands-on activity. Ooh. We get to make mini melt and pour soaps. Then you can add color and scent to your own soap. So think of what scent you might want to add to your soap. How many of you came kind of dirty tonight? <laughs> yes, I could tell. <laughs> Sweet serenade. Mm. Everyone have fun at Craftopia? Yeah. How many got uh, soap? Almost everybody, huh? Yeah. All right, what's the weirdest combination somebody did? We have a combo? Combo. One of us has the scent of monkey fart. Yeah, I did smell the monkey fart. The monkey yeah, fart smelled good. I like monkey fart. That's banana smell. Is that what it is? Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> made a monkey fart. Made a monkey fart. Yeah, but, and what kind of soap did you make? <laughs> it's a joke. Okay. <laughs> Next. I know. Next is water from wine, people. Ah, you see wine, people get interested. Huh? <laughs> okay, these guys are really interesting. They're a non-profit Washington winery. The owner has six acres of Cabernet Sauvignon on the Founders Vineyard that has been dedicated to funding clean water efforts globally. That means that 100% of the proceeds of all the wine produced from this vineyard go to fight the global water crisis. They've contributed over $1.3 million towards clean water infrastructure, access, and sanitation since 2017. They also host many art festivals, events like SIP and paints, and feature local artists' work on a regular basis. During tonight's <laughs> tour, we get to hear live music by Gilded Lily! <laughs> you got a concert, people. Is it rock? Is it blues? Is it pop? It's Gilded Lily. I wonder if they'll have wine. I bet they will. They might have wine. Now yeah, we're going to stay there for three hours. <laughs> they take soap as collateral. They take soap. See if they trade soap. All right, water from wine.
fun, huh? Yeah. yeah. And they turn wine into water. They're doing yeah. good work, which is very cool. Okay. Next, PJ Hummel and Company. Woohoo! They're an award winning, woman owned event design production company based right here in Tacoma. The design warehouse containing PJ's exclusive collection of staging elements is 30,000 square feet of wondrous possibilities. This exclusive collection of in warehouse decor elements incorporates theatrical, thematic, antique, and modern pieces to create unforgettable events off site or in their own venue, Tin Can Alley. Tin Can Alley is PJ Hummel's charming indoor outdoor venue located in the refurbished century old factory nestled in the transportation hub of Tacoma known as the Dome District. It gets better people. Artists traditionally use motifs from religion and nature in their paintings. The vibrant colors are used to a, in a variety of brilliant organic shapes. This exhibition is an advocacy for artists and their life stories. Join us for a cup of chai and conversation while Bollywood music plays in the playground. Ten. Somebody wanted to go online to buy any of this? If they want to go, they can go on gobranta.com okay. and email from okay. there and we can send you more images. Look at those Alice in Wonderland looking chairs. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Wrap your love in under luxury and we'll provide the rest. There's still people back there? Okay, there's not one of the show. We're going to hear it. All right, everyone, if you need to do an event, you know where you can do it now. Yeah. How many people knew that this place existed? Nope. Yeah. All right, next is Pour It On Studio. Lisa Daniel has work displayed in businesses and private collections. She has been in board positions, consulted and collaborated artistically on various art projects and art events. She served as a public art commissioner for the city of Fife for two terms. Her paintings are large, organically abstract paintings of acrylic, mediums, and mixed media. Pouring on the floor, directing and manipulating multiple layers of unusual combinations of materials to create texture, depth, and transparency. Her studio <laughs> in the Provident Building, and the business name is Pour It On LLC. She sells inventory out of the studio directly, accepts commissions, has leasing programs and she welcomes visitors, inquiries, questions, and the art bus. Yeah. Woohoo! You're gonna put in a guest and play what that name should be. Yeah. Yeah. All right, John L. Scott is our next stop. John L. Scott is devoted to transactional excellence and client satisfaction. The business is built on relationships and they're eager to help you with all your real estate needs. They love their community and believe that life 
living life is in living life as a contribution. Tonight, they're hosting two special artists and one special friend. Local artist Mary Smith has won many awards in national, regional, and local art shows, including the Northwest Watercolor Society's National Exhibition, the annual Puget Sound Area Exhibition at the Fry Art Museum, and the Maritime Invitational Art Exhibition in Seattle. She loves painting murals. She is elated to be one of 22 artists chosen by the city of Tacoma to paint outdoor murals. Local artist Amanda Green is a broker in the Tacoma North office who creates beautiful realistic art of animals and nature. And she's a lovely human being. Oh. La Paloma Tacoma probably needs no introduction, but I'm going to give it anyway. An indigenous owned shop and featuring art, plants, vintage clothes, gifts, and locally made items, there is always something special to find. La Paloma also hosts seasonal workshops and events. It's now raffle time. All right, oh, okay. check your bags there. Look at the raffle ticket <laughs> that is steeped to the inside of your VIP bag. If you do not have a VIP bag, sorry. Last one. Eight zero zero two five one three. <laughs> you just want a spa set from Electra Spa. Value eighty bucks. There it goes. Thank you for coming to Art Bus March 2024. Say thank you to Alejandra. And have a lovely night and safe drive home. Don't open the Art Bus. All right, everyone, that wraps up Art Bus March 2024. Thank you all who came. For those of you who did not come, come next time. Or the time after that. Or the time after that. Make some friends. And uh, you might see Fred. You might see Boxy. You might see Angela. There they go. Into the night. Into the night. Good night, let's head by all. Five! Raffle winner.